Very good. Okay. Okay. Next, deriving Maxwell's relations from Gibbs free energy. Here's the differential form of the Gibbs free energy. Here's the property we're going to use to derive the Maxwell's relations. So, how do we start this? Like the other problems, partial, respect for partial T, constant P and N of partial G with respect to the other variable we're interested in, in this case it's P, a constant T and N must equal on this side partial with respect to P of a constant T comma N, partial G with respect to T, constant P comma N. So, Substituting in for the GDP at constant T and N and the GDP at constant P and N. First, the GDP, the GDP, constant T gone, constant N gone. So we have del V, del T, constant P comma N equals the GDT at constant P here. So constant P, constant N gone, minus S. Let's pull it out right away since it's getting really easy. Partial S. Partial P, constant T, comma N. That's how you derive the Maxwell relationship from differential Gibbs free energy.